submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story The Tale of Pop Culture with Pat. Ah, yes. Are you afraid of the dark? One of the reasons I had quite a few nightmares as a kid, but also a big reason that I became such a big horror fan that I am today. So for those who might not be familiar, Are You Afraid of the Dark was a kid's show that was on Nickelodeon in the early 1990s. Um, it ran for five initial seasons, and then it took a little break, came back for another two. So like the initial run was seven seasons in total. And then it actually just came back this last year for like a short little like mini series. And then I believe it already got greenlit for a second season to come back. So that's kind of cool. But we're focusing on like that initial seven season run in this episode right here. So like I said, Are You Afraid of the Dark was one of those shows that was really big part of my childhood growing up. I remember, you know, coming home from school like later in the afternoons and they would have it on there in Nickelodeon. But then they also had it on, had it on Saturday night on the SNCC block. And that's where, you know, I watched quite a few episodes there, too. And yeah, I mean, I just remember watching this show and a lot of the episodes, like even today, you know, as like an adult looking back at them, like there's definitely like, you know, there's some cheesy aspects of it because, you know, where it was a 90s show, like some of the stuff has like aged, uh, but there's still quite a few episodes that are super creepy and you're just like, man, they wouldn't be able to show that today. So in this video, what I wanted to do is kind of just like, you know, go through some memories that I have of the show, certain episodes, and then I'm going to kind of just go through, um, you know, a, a bunch of episodes that are kind of like my personal favorites. Now, there was a couple that it was pretty close, but I narrowed it down to like 10. And this is not necessarily the scariest episodes of the series, although there definitely is some of those episodes included in this list. Um, but there's some of them that, you know, I just really have really good memories of them and enjoyed watching them. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into those episodes. But real quick, like before we get into the episodes, that intro, man, like still to this day is like one of the most memorable like intros that I can think of of like, you know, a 90s show. And it's just super creepy. I mean, just look at this. Yeah, that's terrifying. All right, guys, so this list in no particular order, like I said, we're just gonna go through and talk about these, you know, these 10 different episodes and uh, some of them, you know, that I have like certain memories of. So starting off the list, we're gonna start with The Tale of the Laughing in the Dark. So this episode, I feel like this is an episode that really has to be almost mentioned in any kind of like top 10, like episodes, favorite episodes, you know, for Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, because the character of Zebo is just so memorable and probably one of the reasons alongside like Pennywise and stuff like that, that a lot of kids were scared of clowns. <laughs> I know like I never really had like a big issue with clowns, but I could see like if I was, this episode would have scared the crap out of me. And it's still pretty creepy. Uh, basically, you have these like kids, they go to like this carnival and there is this um, haunted house, like spook house that they go into and they end up going in there. And at the very end, uh, there's like a Zebo like prop. And the one kid, him and his like sister, they dare the the other friend who's kind of like, you know, like a know-it-all. He's like, I'm not afraid of like anything. And they dare him to like take Zebo's nose. So he does. And like, you know, he thinks he's all cool and everything and starts teasing them like afterwards. But then you start seeing that Zebo might be coming after this kid. And all this like weird stuff starts happening. And it's just like super creepy because they don't show Zebo a lot in the episode. Um, it's really more about what you can't see that's kind of creepy because like at one point he shows up to like the kid's house and he like calls him on the phone and says like tells him to like give the nose back and then the kid goes up into his room locks himself in there and all of a sudden you see like these footsteps outside the door and a balloon pops up and it says give it back. Super super creepy episode and like this the laughing in the dark definitely has to make my favorite list. The next episode that I want to talk about is the tale of the dark music. This is definitely, I would say, one of the scariest episodes, at least in my opinion, of the show. Um, pretty much what this focuses on is you have this family. They move into this house that they inherited by their uncle, who I guess was like kind of like creepy. 
And you end up finding out why, because the older brother, he ends up, you know, going downstairs, he's like cleaning stuff out, and he ends up turning on some music, you know, while he's working, and all of a sudden, this like crate closet doorway thing like opens up, and you just see these red eyes staring at him. And it's just like, holy shit, like, I, growing up as a kid, like, I definitely kind of was like, are you or afraid of the dark? <laughs> um, but that was one of the things, like, I was just, I was so scared of, like, you know, like, being, like, a dark place and then just, like, seeing these, like, red eyes, like, staring at you. So this episode definitely kind of creeped me out. And, man, like, through, like, throughout the episode, so, like, this monster, not only does he, like, show up as that, but depending on, like, the kind of music that's played... He shows up in like different forms. So I was at like one point he's like this giant like doll that's like super creepy. And then he's also like a, a carnival like person and uh, he ends up turning into like the skeleton. But the end of the episode though, like man, really messed up. So like he's talking to this, you know, this monster and he's like, the monster's like, oh, I can give you like whatever you want. All you got to do is one thing for me. And the, the boy's like, oh, like what? And he's like, feed me. And then, like, you see this blue light, like, on the, the kid's face, and you see him just turn and, like, creepily smile towards the camera because, and then you hear his sister's like, I'm going to tell mom, da 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 So it's like, wow, you're going to feed your sister to that thing? And, like, who knows what else? So, like, this was a really, really creepy episode and scared the crap out of me as a kid. So it definitely had to make the list. The next episode we're going to talk about is the tale of the midnight ride. So... This episode had to make this list because I'm, one, I'm just like a big, you guys know, like a big like fan of like Halloween, like the season in general, but I also really like uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So anytime that I can find, you know, something like based off that or like a remake, or whatever, I usually always at least check it out. And uh, I thought this was like a fun take on it, you know, especially as like a kid growing up. Uh, basically, it's just a retelling of like The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So you have like a kid moves to this, uh, to Sleepy Hollow and he kind of, you know, he falls for like this girl at, at school and he wants to go to the dance with her, but there's a bully. You know the story. Um, so I just thought it was a really fun episode. I feel like it's one that you can watch, you know, around Halloween because it has that, you know, that vibe to it. Um, so yeah, it's just a really fun episode overall. It's nothing really too scary in my opinion. The Tale of the Crimson Clown. So yeah, another clown episode. I, you know, Ari the Afraid of the Dark really wanted to traumatize kids. <laughs> Uh, the Crimson Clown is basically about, you have these like two brothers and one of them's younger and he's kind of, you know, he's like snotty and they're in, they're going to go try and find a gift for their mother for like her birthday or something like that. And the younger brother ends up spending the money. And so when they're in this like one store, the older brother like sees this like clown up on the shelf and he like, you know, makes up this story saying, oh, like the Crimson Clown's going to get you. He goes after like bad little boys or whatever. And of course, you know, the kid doesn't believe it. But then, like, later on when they get back home, the clown starts coming after him. And I remember, like, one scene in particular, well, there's, like, a couple, but, like, one scene where he's, like, watching TV and all of a sudden the clown's, like, arm, like, comes out of the TV and it's just, like, extending to, you know, to grab him. Yeah, that it's, like I said, I'm not, wasn't really afraid of clowns, but, yeah, super, super creepy. And if you were afraid of clowns, like, these things probably gave you nightmares. The Ghastly Grinner is the next episode I want to talk about, and... This was a really cool, kind of scary, like, episode where basically you have this, like, kid. He goes to, like, this comic book shop and the daughter of, like, this, like, famous, like, comic artist or whatever gives him, like, this copy of, like, her, her dad's book that he only ended up finishing one copy. And he wants this kid, or she wants this kid to finish it up because she thinks he's really talented. So he ends up taking it, but he accidentally unleashes the villain, the ghastly gunner, into the real world. And then basically the rest of the episode, they have to try and figure out how to stop him. Um, yeah, the villain was, you know, he was awesome. You don't see him for a lot of the episode. Like, I don't think he shows up to like 15, 16 minutes in, something like that. Uh, but you just, you kind of see the aftermath of what he does to people. And he just turns them into like these bumbling idiots. And, you know, at one point there's like this bus driver where his like head like, you know, spins around. And there's just like this blue like goo like coming from all these people's faces. It was just a really cool episode and, a, you know, an awesome villain. Um, there was a lot of, you know, memorable creatures in Are You Afraid of the Dark? But the Ghastly Grinner definitely stands out. Oh, man. The Tale of the Dead Man's Float. So this episode probably for me might be the scariest episode of the series and I'll tell you guys why. So uh, basically this episode focuses on um, it first off it starts off with like a flashback. So there's a kid swimming in this pool 
and you know he's just like swimming around or whatever and then there's like they show like a lifeguard and like his like girlfriend in the other room and all of a sudden you see like the kitty like smell something and then he just gets pulled underwater and he's screaming he's like help help and the uh, the lifeguard ends up jumping in trying to save him uh, but you end up finding out like the kid died he drowned and then like there's like several other kids that end up drowning so they like close down the pool and um, you know, flash forward to like, you know, the 90s or wherever the episode like takes place and you have, you know, these kids that they, they open up the, you know, the pool not realizing, you know, what happens to like afterwards and then they, this monster starts coming after them. Basically it was because there was this uh, graveyard, I guess, like where the pool was before and they moved all of the graves except for one, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but except for one and this ghost is like haunting, you know, that area ever since. So yeah, my interesting story, you know, with this particular episode. So the reason why this scared me so bad, because at the time, well, one, I mean, just look at this freaking monster right here. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. And at the time I was actually taking uh, swimming lessons at the YMCA and I had, you know, just seen this episode and I remember not wanting, like we went to the, the YMCA like the day after or something like that. And I was like, I started freaking out. I was like, I am not going in the pool. The monster is going to get me. It's going to drown me. I'm sure like these people were probably like, what the heck did you do to this kid? Uh, but yeah, I was terrified because of this episode and that monster. Like, you know, it just looks so like it looked great. You know, props to like the, the creature design and everything, you know, on the show. Uh, but yeah, this this episode really, really scared me. <laughs> Up next, we have the tale of the unexpected visitor. Again, an episode that's, to me, not really like scary, um, but it's basically you have these like two friends that they're trying to form this like band or whatever, and they're like making music, and they're hanging out at the one kid's house this one night, and they end up accidentally like their father downstairs has a um, like a computer system, and he's like part of uh, not like NASA, but works with like space stuff. And they end up accidentally sending a message to these aliens, and then the end up, aliens end up coming down to uh, visit them. So it was just a really, you know, like fun like episode. Um, the aliens looked like, you know, like kind of like interested. It, it reminded me of something, you know, like uh, a kid's version of like the X Files, uh, which I mean, this show is kind of like I guess like a kid's version of that show. Um, but it was just something that I really enjoyed, and like I've gone back and watched it like several times. Next episode we're going to talk about is the tale of the night shift. So this is probably another one of the scariest episodes in the series. Uh, this came on like later in the series. I want to say it was like the fifth season. And uh, basically you have this like girl who's volunteering at this hospital. And all of a sudden she soon starts to realize there is a vampire there stalking the halls and, you know, biting people and turning them into vampires. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons why this episode is so scary is, you know, the design of the vampire itself. And there's this one particular scene. I think if you guys have seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's this one right here. Like, talk about a scary-ass jump scare. Terrifying. <laughs> Are You Afraid of the Dark was, you know, there is no way now. I, I know, like, the show, like, came back, but I feel like it, it's definitely not as like scary or creepy compared to like some of these original episodes. It's like, there was no way they would be able to show some of these because I just feel like kids or parents these days are like two. They're like, oh, I don't want my kids to get scared. Um, this, I guess, you know, it just really kind of desensitized me as a kid. <laughs> the tale of the frozen ghost is the next episode I want to talk about. And um, again, something that wasn't really super scary to me, um, just like a really interesting like episode. It was something that I, I watched like a bunch as a kid. And I think, I actually had one of the VHS tapes, the Are You Afraid of the Dark tapes, and it had this episode, I'm pretty sure, on there. Um, and it also uh, stars Melissa Joan Hart, so that was kind of cool. Um, but basically, you have Melissa Joan Hart, she's babysitting this kid, and they're going to stay at the aunt's house. Uh, when they get there, the aunts start talking about how they have a ghost, you know, haunting, like, the house, like, the property. And the kid's, like, scared of everything. So, like, the, the babysitter, Melissa Joan Hart's, like, teasing him. Um, but they end up finding out that there is actually a ghost because there was a kid who ended up freezing to death when he was younger uh, because this, like, burglar guy was, like, after him and followed him into, like, this, like, log or whatever. So it's just a really cool, like, ghost story. Um, again, nothing too, like, super scary. I feel like if you're, like, worried about getting scared by any of these episodes, you can check this out and you wouldn't be scared, but just a fun, you know, ghost story to check out. 
the last episode that I want to talk about with you guys, and it was hard because there were some that were like really close that we're gonna like make the list, but you know, I, I tried to like mix it up a little bit. And uh, the last episode is the tale of Old Man Cochrane. So one of the reasons why this episode I think made the list for me is because of the whole aspect of these kids playing hide and seek in a cemetery. Now I didn't play hide and seek in a cemetery, but as a kid, you know, hide and seek was one of those games that you know I played with like my friends a lot, especially you know at like nighttime. That was you know always like a really fun game, uh, like manhunt, hide and seek, whatever. Um, but that's like a, a big focus in this episode. You have these two brothers, they move to this new neighborhood and they end up joining these, like these group of kids end up showing up and say like, hey, we like play hide and seek in this graveyard, like you guys wanna play? And they, they end up going kind of reluctantly, but when they, uh, they end up going there, they find out that the graveyard's actually haunted by Old Man Cochran and some other ghosts. You know, I won't spoil it if you guys like haven't seen it, but it was just, just you know, this is kind of like a creepy like episode and uh, just the fact that it kind of had that that story back to like, you know, my childhood, you know, kind of just like added extra to it for me. So yeah, that's, you know, all the episodes that I wanted to talk about with you guys for Are You Afraid of the Dark? You know, I absolutely love this show. Like I said, it is, there is some parts that are dated, you know, this came out in the early 90s. You know, there's, there's like the crazy fashion style that the, you know, some of these like kids and stuff like had in these different episodes and like some of the effects, you know, it was like a TV show. Um, but for the most part, like, I still really enjoy it. I have all of these guys on uh, DVD. I think they're, like, out of print now. So I have them all on DVD, so it's awesome to be able to just go back and rewatch them. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the series, um, I would I would definitely check it out. Uh, especially, it's a good, you know, gateway, like, horror for, you know, for kid, like younger kids, like, getting into, like, the horror genre. Um, some of the episodes might give them nightmares, but that's okay. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So on, I think it might have been the one with the frozen ghosts. I don't remember 100%, but there was this little promo thing that was on a VHS tape for Are You Afraid of the Dark? And it was just like this like little like trailer, like an introduction for the tape. And holy crap, like, and I don't know why, like looking back, it's like a little ridiculous to me. <laughs> but there was this little clip uh, where this girl, it's like black and white, and this girl's like in this house, and it just shot super creepy to me. And she's like walking through the house, you see like the clock, you know, strike midnight or whatever. And she ends up opening up this door and she sees like this dog and she's like relieved. And then all of a sudden the dog looks at her and he's like, are you afraid of the dark? And that just like scared, like scared the crap out of me as a kid. And I actually, I had a dream when I was younger, we had a cat at the time and I had a dream. I was like sleeping in my room and I like remember waking up sitting and like I, I looked down by like the doorway and my cat was there and I was like, oh, like, hi, squeaky. And then my cat looked at me and was just like, are you afraid of the dark? Yeah, so I had a pretty wild imagination as a kid. <laughs> but yeah, this is the clip right here. I'm just gonna show like, you know, the last like few seconds of it to give you the idea. Who's there? So like I said, I love this show. It was a big part of my childhood, a big reason I became like the horror fan I am today. Um, you can check a lot of the episodes out now, I think actually like on YouTube. Um, so I highly suggest you check them out, especially the episodes I mentioned. I think they're a lot of fun, but there's a lot of other really good ones in there too, especially seasons one through five. So, you know, were you guys a big Are You Afraid of the Dark fan growing up? Uh, there was, you know, several other shows that were really popular at the time too, like So Weird, uh, Goosebumps and stuff like that. Um, what was your favorite scary show, I guess, like growing up in like the, you know, if you grew up in like the 90s and, and stuff like that, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I, I might actually do some reviews of some of those like shows as well, so keep an eye out for that. But, um, you know, as always, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it just so that way you get notifications for all my new videos. You know, I appreciate all the new subscriptions, you know, why I'm a smaller channel, anything helps. And if you guys can hit the like button as well, um, that really helps as well, just especially with uh, YouTube's algorithm. So make sure to do that. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, make sure to check back for more Pop Culture with Pat.